Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are carrying on in Satisfactory. Um, most probably as you can see there is a lot of changes. Um, yeah, I've just gone crazy with about 5,000 worth of concrete and uh, yeah everything here is now on the same platform. Um, so that's now been expanded as you can mostly see all the way out to here. Uh, that's all being connected up to that, that's been connected to there, they connected to the middle. Um, we're very closely getting to our steel area, uh, so I think in between episodes, because I don't want to do another rearrangement for you guys, um, in between episodes I think I might just take this out over there and rearrange that, because I think we're also going to have to do is build a concrete one here going that way, because we're going to need more concrete, because uh, this was a lot just to build this. Um, and yes, it has gone far out because this is where I want the base to start being built. Uh, so this is quite a nice wide area. It's quite high so I can store things underneath. I've got lots of ideas. So we can try and sort of hide cables away which would be quite nice. Um, and yeah, we can cut these trees down and then we'll have all of this expanse to grow out into which would be great. We can have, uh, I think there's some mines over there, so we can just have them running at the end. Uh, and then other than that, uh, other than that poison over there, which we might have to just shirk our way around and just build off like an off-limits area. Um, yeah, building out this way would be great. Um, the base is just over there, so that's great. And we can see everything over there. So first things first that I want to do is I think this is going to be our first run-in strip. So... As you can see on the side, I want to make 24 splitters and, and 48 storage containers because uh, I want to start making a storage storage unit here. So um, the way I'm thinking of it is to have ramps going up. Why won't that go next to you? What? What is that about? What? What? <laughs> I have no clue what that one's doing. Because um, I know you can put them right next to each other. There we go. I was say, why don't you just do that in the first place? And then flick on to that one. And that one. Right, so at this level, what I want to do is just have these. And then be able to see both storage units so what I'm going to want to do is have a storage container where I can see what's in the storage so if I do that and that see I can now see both and I can walk along oh, I'm just not close enough okay so they're going to, have to be a little bit closer so this is what I wanted to do to make sure that we actually uh, can actually grab things so I can access that one but I can't access that one. That's a pain. I need to be a little bit close to access that one. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a bit trick. or Because I kind of want to store it double up. Because that will make my life easier. Would it be better if I was one lower? Or is it the fact that I need to still do the... This trick. Because you can do that can't you and then you can just see what's going to come out so if I put say flowers in that if I'm up here can I see that can I see that and can I pick it up can't pick it up but I can see it I have to be down here to pick it up okay so do I rearrange the idea that I wanted for this mm, this is this is my trouble now do I just keep a one-way walkway and have just loads of these instead? Let's have a look. So if I had you here and then one there. I can still access these, so that's okay. So what I'm going to want to do is have a row of 12 on this side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11 and number 12. And then all of these are going to have one on top of each other. Uh, and there is a method to my madness. There is a reason why I'm doing this. Oof, that is, that is a lot of storage containers, isn't it? Uh, and then turn them around. And then what I want is you to be there. I think that should be the same spot. It is. Good. Right, and then we just need another set of these. And this is going to be our main like hub area. I might move the hub over to here. So we have we always have to come back to this area because everything else currently is just a factory. We don't need to be over there. We want everything to come over to here once it's being made for other items. So we just have a general storage area, but then other things are being created. So I shouldn't have to, you know, go get some screws because screws should be here. And have I gone too far? I have gone too far. What am I playing at? I'm not even paying attention. I'm just talking and not actually remembering what I'm doing. Uh, right. So I wanted storage containers. Lots of these. Oh no, they're the wrong way around. What am I doing? <laughs> Again, not paying attention to what I'm doing. Right, turn around. All of you, because I need the inserts on the back. Right, so that's all that. Okay, then what I'm going to want is... See, I've, I've kind of thought about this all myself already. Uh, so I'm going to want a stackable pole there and a stackable pole there. Okay, so what's going to happen there is a Mark three. It's going to run from there around to here. Okay, so this is going to be sort of the turning point. Uh, and then from there, what we're going to do is have smart splitters. So... We're going to start from number one, so I'm going to have like an input chest, uh, and then these are all going to connect to these. So you're going to go there, and then what I need to do is turn you around like that. And what's going to happen if this works nicely, everything should just go through the system and then automatically be sorted. We can have everything running on one run set of systems and then everything works like that. So that's then going to come around the corner, go onto that and then we're going to start this chain all over again. So that will go there and then I need to turn you like that. Uh, I'm hoping you guys are, are seeing what I'm trying to do. There is like, there is a slight method to my madness. <laughs> I'm not just like, you know, massively insane. Um, and then you will go there. And then all of these will then connect. Like this is going to take a lot of like wiring and stuff like that. Uh, so if I just have another organization storage container. So I want you to go there missing concrete of course I am I'm missing concrete wow actually no I don't need concrete for that what I don't need it do I are you an output where's your input have I done this wrong I have I've moved that one wrong around moved that one around the one wrong way. Wow, I can't even speak today. That is that is terrible. Right, so that'll be input like that. Okay, there we go. Right, so these have I can walk up these, good. Because I'm gonna need it. Alright, so you're going to go to there. Uh, and then this is going to get even more complicated in a second, because then we're also going to have 
things going up the side. So if I wanted to, if I go, uh, let's add that to eight. So we've got three and eight. So let's have eight. That should. Okay, that needs to be brought down one. And then that does that. So you can see I'm going to be able to double end on these. So I'm going to set something to like this way. So this is currently right. So left will be, say, oh God, let's have like coal. And then right will be, where's not Norblix? So we can have Norblix. And then that's then going to go into X extra, you know, extra. So some sort of system. So it's going to be like iron. So if we go left, will be iron ore. If there's iron ore, right. So we've got iron ore, and then right will be iron plates. You know, and then we'll have what's the next thing on the the iron spectrum. The iron spectrum would then be iron rods and screws. You know, and then that's all the iron done, that just in this area here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping you guys understand the way I'm trying to go with it. So, it's just going to take me a while to do this. So, I think what I'm going to do, guys, actually, I'm actually going to do this. In between, so you guys don't have to watch this because uh, I don't think you guys are going to find this entertaining. It's literally just me linking all these conveyor belts together and then coming back doing the the uh, the other type as well, and then setting everything on a preset, uh, which may take me quite a while because there is quite a lot of things to set up. Um, I basically want things closer to myself, the ones that are actually useful. Uh, so yeah, guys, I think I will see you in a second. So I'll see you then. Hey guys, and welcome back. So we have been doing a little bit of things. Um, so that's all done. Uh, behind everything else here is done as well. Uh, I haven't set up everything, uh, but what I have done is set everything to go through. Uh, it gets filtered off if it doesn't, and then we've got an input chest, and then we've got an output chest. Uh, the only thing that we're going to have to do is, in between episodes, is just get the uh, little extras to come out. So normally you'd have it like that, so you could see a little bit of what's going to be in there but if I just quickly just store everything I think there might be a few things that get picked up plates rods that sort of thing so they should all get siphoned through so if we quickly jump up we can see things running plates might go somewhere so that's a lot of grass and dirt and stuff like that so again these will be upgraded to fours um, so that's 480 items per minute, which will be so much quicker than this. Is it 240 at the moment? Which is threes? Is it threes or 240? 270, and then it's 450 for the next one. So that's uh, steel stuff going through there. And then we should be swapping over soon. Don't remember having that much steel. Um, Alright, so yeah, then it's going to go quick wire and then stuff like that. Quick wire, I do believe, uh, has one sorted already. Uh, but these should be going round pretty quickly. So if we have a look, we can run down the end. We can watch them all go through, which is something I really like watching because then everything goes around here. If it doesn't, if it's not used on that side, then it goes through and gets checked. Can we? Oh, that's the good jump. And then quick wire is going all the way through here, and then of course it's coming up, and it's getting stored into this unit because quick wire has been designated for here. And the rest, if it's not in storage, will then come through into here. So these ones currently don't have anything, so it's a good way to put things through, check what what doesn't, and then you can add extras. And if you want to, you can just expand it out a little bit further and then drop more down here. Um, but yeah, that means we've got like a nice little storage area here, which is great. All that, all those wires are getting, the quick wires are going straight through. And then I believe iron plates, oh no, that's still going. Wow, that's still going. What is it for a four? Let's have a look. 
Okay, so industrial encased, which we don't even have anywhere near to start getting that stuff. But yeah, if you were just to walk over here, dump all your resources in here and walk away, like you'd then have this nice little storage area which will have everything everything stored for you, which which to be honest is exactly what I need because at the moment my area is a little bit confusing with all those storage containers around so if I can just load up a truck and then be like yeah just dump it in here and then we can have truck stops can come into one of these and just drop, drop them off from all different areas so we don't need cables or pipes coming in we just need trucks uh, they just put a truck stop here that fills up and it empties into this storage area uh, and then Hopefully, at some point, we can get pro. I'm assuming there was programmable ones. So if things like, if stock gets too full, it just says no more of this and just stops those trucks. Which that would be beautiful because, you know, at the moment this is all doing itself perfectly. Um, and then yeah, all this can then be stored somewhere else. So yeah, that's a lot. So then you got plastics, the like iron plates, all those will have somewhere to go as well. So. Yeah, this is this is nice. I like this nice little corridor for us to to walk down uh, with all everything that's going to be stored in here. Can jump up here and onto these. I wish we could put little signs on the front so it just had like a, a quick wire icon there or a you know that that sort of thing would make life a little bit easier, especially for mass storages like this. Um, and if we want to, we can just take these top layers off lay them down so that it's just a very long row and then just keep piling them up so we can just put industrials and boom, 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 and then just have like a mass storage area which which could be possible might be useful um, but yeah at the moment this just seems to be running very nice and smooth I think this is going to be eating the frames though just a bit <laughs> um, but yeah I'm happy with that guys Hope you are. Um, then, yeah, we've finally got ourselves like a proper little storage system. Like things can be just filtered away. We can just drop things off, and that'll be done. Uh, and then that needs to be changed. And then our, our caterium's going to need to be changed as well because we're slowly encroaching on their areas. And I kind of want everything to be on the same platform. And then I'm thinking putting our hub over here somewhere, our space elevator in this area, so we we can actually get things back gonna have to cut down all these trees um, and like start taking over this uh, this planet a little bit just with foundations <laughs> um, so yeah I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end the episode a little bit earlier for this one I think um, it's gonna be quite a short episode but I think I've been doing quite a lot it took me uh, a good 20 odd minutes to to go through these and set the filters up and, and such like so um, and there's still a couple more I need to do as you can see because things have come through but currently nothing is coming through that means plates should be working their way into the system yep so there's plates already worked in motors are going round bars are in so we've got bars here plates should be underneath or is it screws underneath I think it's screws underneath yeah plates are here uh, and I think that was iron ingots and then there's one for like iron ore so yeah, it's all going good. I like this. So yeah, guys, if you did like it, then please do hit that like button. If you want to see more, then please do subscribe. Um, if you want to leave a comment, that's always brilliant. I love hearing from you guys. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to end it there for today. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.